Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dinandhere.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the default language of your DNN site from English to another language. And I, first of all, I want to give a big thanks to Michael Holzer. Uh, he's from Toronto and he was the one that asked me if I could uh, have a look at the at uh, producing this video so big thanks to Michael so in previous videos that I have been talking about language it was always the approach that you're gonna have English and something else so it was a multi uh, culture multi language website in the in case that I'm gonna be talking today it will be specifically having your site in a different language so it's not multi language it's just it's just in a language different from English, okay? So, I'm going to start from the very beginning. And what I mean by that is that I want to show you where you can download language packages, different language packages, French, Spanish, Portuguese, whatever it is. So, there's this page in the DNN website, and I'm going to post a link to that page here in the video. So, just look underneath or up here. This page is the page that stores the language packages that were created usually by, by the community and they are shared here. So you're going to find all kinds of languages here. So there is a big, big list here. Now I have been noticing lately that there is a lot of, uh, of old stuff here, but it's still a very good starting point. Um, in our case, in this example, I'm going to change the default language from from English to French and I'm gonna use the package uh, uh, the specific package on French Canadian so I'm going to look here and I just found it okay so it's called French Canada and I'm going to click there when I click there the list below will get filtered and it, it's only showing packages related to to French, French in, in Canada. Now, as you can see, they are quite old. You see the, the core, usually I try to find the core language package. And as, as you're gonna be able to see here, we have core language package at the top, then FCK provider, full package is not the case. Full package will include the core, plus additional modules that were also translated. And again, there is another, a module language package here. This, those are module specific. And so I usually try to find the one that is more, the more recent one. But again, as you can see, it's quite old. But in any case, it's a good starting point. So I'm going to, by the way, I mean, uh, Francophone Canadians out there, uh, my friend Francophone, uh, how about updating this? I mean, it's, uh, we are already in DNN 6, DNN 4 here, quite old, huh? Okay, in any case, let's download this one. I'm just going to click download. Let's wait a little bit. Let's save this. Okay, so here's the package. I'm just going to copy its location. I'm going now to the site. It's a zip, it's a zip file. I have to log in back as super user. so I can install the language. I'm not sure if admin will allow you to install, but I don't think so. In any case, super user here, just move the mouse over admin and I go to the languages. Now I need to install that package. Right now this is a brand new DNN 6.1.2 uh, and it just has English. So I'm going to click install language package, language pack. Click Browse, go to the folder. Okay, so here's the file. Just gonna select it, click Open, click Next. Click Next again, and Next. Accept the license, click Next. Now, as I said, this will be a little bit old. So, more recent text that was added to DNN, they will not get translated automatically because, again, it's just not there. 
So you can refer back to some other videos that I have about how you can go about translating yourself, entries that uh, you may find that they are not translated yet. So I'm, again, I'm going to post the links to those videos here in this video as well. So let's have a look here. Installation successful, perfect. So let's click return. Okay, so now I can see the little Canadian flag, French Canada, and it's enabled. So at the top, you see the US flag indicating that this is English and the French and the Canadian flag indicating that if you click here, you're going to flip to uh, French. But this is not what I want. I don't want the site in multiple languages. I just want the site in one single language. Now, what I would like to be able to do is to uncheck this enabled here because I don't want to enable the English uh, culture in the site. I just want French. <laughs> How can I go about doing that? Well, first of all, let's understand why enabled is disabled here. Why uh, I cannot disable English right now. It's just because English at this point in time, when a, a brand new DNN site is installed, it is the default language of the site. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to switch the default language of the website from English to French. How can we do that? Very simple. We just need to switch it here. Actually, before we had to go to admin site settings, but now they just put it here, which is great. Or maybe it was always here. Anyway, site default language, you just have to flip from English to French and I'm going to hit update. Now, once I did that, the English culture can be disabled now. They still show both. It still show both, both languages, but now I'm going to disable English because I don't want English here. I just want this site to be in French. That's it. Okay, so we just have to uncheck enabled. And by doing so, we should have this set. Okay, so now as you can see, some strings, they get changed automatically to French. As you can see here, the connection. Again, I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know French, so uh don't expect me much here but anyway you can see that there are some translations but as i said this is an old package so only a few i would say a few but a lot of new terms a lot of new words were added to dnn and those were not translated okay so again the site is now in french but there are strings that are not translated yet now as i said there, there is another video that will show you how you can translate uh, the other strings, but and this is not the main topic of this video. So let me just go here to the home page. Let me refresh the site because sometimes what, what may happen as well is that the site has cached strings, has cached uh, text, and a bit of a kick in the site will be necessary to refresh the cache and clean everything. So let's let's try that. As you can see, uh, you see parameter is lots of other strings are already getting translated and others are not as you can see there's a mixture here some are some are not i guess i don't even need to kick the site but in any case well yeah it's it's already it's already uh it has already french applied as the only uh language so i don't need to refresh the sites i don't need to restart it so that's basically it. that's how you can go about changing the default language of your .NET website to another language, not multiple multi-language, but just change from English to something else. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.